this video, I'm going to show you how I added realistic lighting in Photoshop in Lightroom. This LEGO Ocean Exploration Base is a great build, but a challenge to shoot. Why? These half domes reflect everything in the room. Here, you can see the two video LEDs in my roof windows pretty clearly. Changing angles didn't help much, so my solution was to shoot in the dark instead. So let's talk about how I'm going to light this base. The overhead light is just for the video, but I'm going to use this flash to backlight the base. I'm going to add a blue filter to get some blue highlights. This is magnetic, so it goes on easily to my round head adapter. And I'm going to use a snoot to control the spill of the light. This fits right over the gel to stay in place. This is an LED light that is used in balloons and lanterns. Give it a little twist and it turns on. I've put one in each module to light the interiors up. And I've tucked one in the back as well, pointed at the background. These LEDs are pretty weak and very warm in temperature. The background will get some warm light on it for separation that I'll have to correct in post. My fill light is this flash with a small round softbox on it. But I want an even bigger, softer light source to make the reflections look better so I'm going to point it at the white wall to bounce a light onto the set. You can see the round softbox in the dome, but it's not very distracting. This is the lighting buildup. The base with the LED lights inside the modules. Now the flash with the blue gel and snoot have been added. And finally, the bounced light off the wall camera left. Here's the image I'll be working on. A 5 second exposure at f4 and ISO 100. I've also taken another photo without the shark in it so I can remove it easier in post. Now we're ready to edit in Photoshop. I've got the two images loaded in layers and I'm going to align them by going to Edit, Auto Align Layers. The top layer has the photo with the shark in it. I'll add a layer mask to the top layer. I'll zoom into the shark switch to my brush tool, make sure it's got black as the foreground, and begin painting away the wire. I'll do this quickly since I've covered this in a previous video. Now I'm going to add a new layer and paint in some particles with a particle brush. You can download dust brushes or particle brushes from sites like BrushEasy. Just search for what you need, download, and install the brush in Photoshop. So I'm just going to start adding some particles by clicking over where I want them to appear. Usually, you want them where the light rays are going to be. Particles show up in light. I can always add or remove particles in this layer later if I want. Now I'm just going to name this layer Particles and add a new layer. This one will be for Haze. I'll grab my brush, set the mode to Dissolve, keep my opacity low, make sure I've got white loaded, and start painting in the layer. Now I'm going to blur that by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I've got it set to 100 something, which already gives the effect I want. I can bump it up some more for kicks and hit OK. Then I'm going to drop the opacity of the haze to about 50%. Next, I need to clone out this metal clip that was holding the background in place. So I'll create a new layer, switch to the Clone Stamp tool, and make my brush bigger. I'm going to Alt-click to sample an area I want to source from, and then just paint. I'm not going to be too fussy about this since I have more editing in this area later. I'll just fast-forward this part. So here's what it looks like so far. 
The LEDs in the base give off a warm color, and since one of them is pointing at the background, it's making the background orangey. Let's fix that next. I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer and colorize it with a blue. I'll name this adjustment layer blue. Then I'll select the mask, pick the brush tool, increase the opacity, increase the brush size, and begin painting black into the mask to reveal the layers below. Let's do a quick check. I missed a little seaweed down here, and I may just end up bringing this whole bottom area back. Okay, now I'm done with Photoshop and have the image open in Lightroom. Let's light up those floodlights. I'm going to grab a radial filter and drag a circle over one of these transparent Lego round plates. I'm going to increase the exposure of it to around 2 to start with. This can change later. Next, I'm going to drag an oval shape out with a radial filter for the light beam. I'll set this exposure to 1 for now. Then I'm going to drag the center pin closer to the floodlight and turn on the overlay. With that still selected, I'm going to change to the brush tool and erase most of what's to the right. I'm rounding out the light effect here behind the floodlight to give it some glow. Let's have a quick look. Okay, now I'm going to drag a smaller circle over the floodlight and increase exposure by one and one third stops. I've now stacked a couple of radial gradients so the smaller one looks more like a bulb. I'm just going to duplicate this radial gradient by right clicking on the pin and selecting duplicate. Then I'm going to drag it over to the floodlight on the left. Same for the other two radial gradients. So just repeat this until you have all the floodlights lit. I've just skipped ahead. For some of the floodlights, you might have to increase exposure to match the rest. This one received less of the fill light, so I'm going to bump it up to about 3 and 2 thirds stops. Here's a before and after. I think it's missing some intensity closer to the bulb, so I'm going to add a fourth radial gradient right in front of the floodlight. Then make sure to do that for the rest. I think that's it. Here's the final image with the other floodlights also turned on. I made a few other adjustments like desaturating the ground and reducing the exposure on the top of the background so they were less distracting. The particles in the haze done in Photoshop, then the radial filters in the Lightroom make for some realistic lighting. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how I lit up the ocean base. For more toy photography tutorials, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And let me know in the comments what you want to learn next. This is 4 Bricks Tall, and I'll catch you again soon.